This week, Gil decided to smash some more walls down and rip some floors up inside. Take a look. This has been a bit of a crazy week. I've been working non-stop and there's also been lots of things going on with the station. So we found out our cesspit is over 100 years old, which is a, a bit nuts. We didn't think it was going to be that old. It's full of roots, so we need to get that sorted out. Um, we've been plumbing the caravan in and putting electrics in the caravan. Um, that's taken a little longer than we expected, so um, that's still ongoing at the moment. Um, so we've been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and um, not made huge progress, but lots of things have had to be done. Uh, but in amongst all that, Gil has uh, decided to smash some more walls down and um, lift some floorboards up, which has given us a good view of the inside of the station. So let's have a look. One of our comments on last week's video said, I was taught many years ago, feet are not tools. Ankles and toes are not going to win the battle against solid items. I found this so funny and it's so fitting for how Gil likes to take things down. A couple of floorboards came up in this room during a break from smashing. These 
ones were really nailed down. I'm on the stairs and what you can see is the ceiling downstairs and the floor upstairs and there's a huge gap. Now, the beams for the floor are not this big. So why is this this big? Why is there so much space? We're gonna find out. Gil decided to take the floorboards out to see why there's such a big gap between the ceiling downstairs and the floor upstairs. So there's the reason, there's a huge gap between the bottom of the beams supporting the floor and the top of the ceiling below. You can see a steel joist there supporting the floor. This probably also supports the roof beams because they've cut through some of them on this side of the station. There's also pipes under there, loads of dust and it really doesn't smell too good. It's a quite animal-like smell, so I'm wondering if it's from rats or mice, because we also found what looked like bedding here. You can get a good look here that those floor joists go right across those windows. This is really exciting. Hopefully we'll be able to move those floors so we can see those windows. There's loads of space there that's not being used at the moment, and we could gain a couple of foot of space as well. Here's the upstairs as it is now. It's an absolute mess. This is exactly what happens when Gil does things on his own. He loves smashing. He doesn't like the clearing up afterwards. Well, this is certainly not usable anymore. For some reason it feels so much smaller now, but I'm going to put that down to the mess. When it's cleared up, I'm sure it will feel a lot bigger. 
Gil's had a lot of fun this week, smashing walls down and ripping floors up, and we've definitely succeeded in creating a heck of a lot of mess. But what do we do next? I'm not quite sure. Subscribe to us at the Old Station Renovation to see our journey.